In this video, you will learn how to calibrate an eyepiece reticule and use it to measure the actual length of a microscope image. Figure 2.1 shows a diagram of a stage micrometer scale that is being used to calibrate an eyepiece reticule. When divisions on either the stage micrometer scales or the eyepiece reticles, it is the distance between two adjacent lines. The length of one division on this stage micrometer is 0.1 mm. Now an eyepiece reticle is actually a scale that you can find in the microscope. So it is actually the scale that is embedded in the eyepiece ocular of the microscope. As you can see in this visual microscope, eyepiece are embedded inside. So you can see it together with the image of your specimen. The functions of eyepiece reticles is to measure the size of the specimen you view with microscope. If your object is this big, you can say its size is actually 3 eyepiece reticle units. However, bear in mind that eyepiece reticle unit is unknown. You won't know the exact length of one division unless you calibrate these divisions with another ruler with a known length divisions, which we call it as a stage micrometer. A stage micrometer is just like these slides here, except that they don't have specimen that is staying on the slide. Instead, they have a scale, a scale that is of known true division length. And we call it as a stage is because with the size of stage micrometer, we need to put it on this part of microscope, which we call this part of microscope as stage. Once you place the micrometer slides on this stage, you can use to calibrate the eyepiece critical divisions. When you place the micrometer slides on this stage instead of specimen, the image of micrometer will appear. Now, if you have a specimen on the stage, so you can see these specimens using the microscope and embedded in the microscope, you will ha have eyepiece graduals. So this is your eyepiece gradual scales. Now, let's say you remove the slide of specimen. You substitute the slide of specimen with the slide of micrometer. Your image will look something like this. Now the red color here is still your eyepiece reticle scales, while the black one is your micrometer scales. So when you bought the stage micrometer, they will tell you one division of this micrometer equals to what length, so, so that you can use it to calibrate or elucidate the eyepiece reticle scales. Now this is particularly important when alternative between objective lens on one microscope. So if first time you use the four times, then you can, if you use the four times that you want to measure the actual length, then you need to calibrate using um, stage micrometer slides. Or you, if you change another objective lens, maybe to uh, 40 times, then you need to calibrate again using the stage micrometer. So this is the image he went to you. Using the stage micrometer, when one division is 0.1 millimeter, a stage micrometer is those with a known size. Usually the divisions of the stage micrometer is bigger compared to the divisions of your eyepiece reticles. Calculate the actual length of one eyepiece reticle unit using figure 2.1 by completing figure 2.2. .2. 
Now, when you have such questions, the first thing that you need to do is to identify which one is stage micrometer, which one is eyepiece reticules. Have a few seconds to think which one is eyepiece, which one is stage micrometer. Now, usually, stage micrometer divisions will be bigger than your eyepiece critical divisions. And another thing that can, you can help, help you to differentiate them is by looking into the next diagram. Now, in this diagram, since they are under the same question, this is the diagram of where you will have eyepiece graticals together with the image. So, remember this type is your eyepiece graticals, and then you can refer to your previous diagram here. This will look very similar to your previous uh, image, the eyepiece graticals scales. So this, in this, this is your eyepiece graticals with your station micrometer. So you can first label it. This is eyepiece graticals. This is stitch micrometer. Sometimes we can do it with EPG, IP square box scales. After you have labeled the scales, then you can start to calibrate the IP square code. The question states that. The smallest divisions on stage micrometer here is 0.1 mm apart. This also means, means that each of these divisions is 0.1 mm. This is the non length. IP square to go is with a non length. And the next step you need to do is to find out what is the length of one division of your IP squared goals. From here, you can estimate the length of one division of IP squared goals by looking into how many divisions of IP squared goals you have per 0.1 millimeter. Have a few seconds to calculate. The number of divisions in one division, uh, number of divisions of your IP graticals per one division of a stage micrometer. Now let's look into this simple one. We gather all the information together. We know that inside here, if you calculate the divisions, you will have one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have 10 divisions of IP square to scales. Now you have 1 division of stage micrometer scales equals to 0 0.1 millimeter also equals to 10 divisions of IP square to go scales. So now we will see one IP square to unit equals to what is the length? So from here you can know the length of your IP square to goals. So if let's say we only want to see one small division of this IP, we don't want to look into 10 divisions as we already know 10 divisions is 0 0.1 millimeter. How about one division? So this is a simple mathematic. You will take 0 0.1. So this is your unit here, right? Put in the unit inside the box and divide by 
you have 10 divisions, we only want one division length. So divide by 10, you will get 0 0.01. Bear in mind that you shouldn't stop here because for your microscope, we don't want your final unit as millimeter. For microscope measurement, we always want your final unit to be in micrometer. So the next step should be convert this length of the eyepiece critical unit into micrometer. So you should always get micrometer for your light microscope. So step two, convert the answer to a measurement with the unit most suitable for use in light microscopy. Unit most suitable for use in light microscopy, it is always micrometer. So in this case, here will be your answer here is 0 0.01 millimeter. Now you need to convert to micrometer. So you need to multiply the 0 0.01. With 1000. So you will get 10 micrometer. Max will be given if you have correct, correct formula to calculate one IP square jugal per unit. If you multiply with the correct unit here, and you have this basic unit that is most suitable for use in light microscope, you write with micrometer. We will look into the next question. Figure 2.3 is a photo micrograph showing part of an organ from a plant of a different species. You can see here, this is the eyepiece gradual scales. Figure 2.3 shows a photo micrograph taken using the same microscope with the same lenses as figure 2.1. Now they are using the same objective lens as the previous figure, so the length of the IP squared scale divisions is follow the previous calculations, whereby you have one division of IP squared equals to 10 micrometer. Now if you are using different objective lens, then you need to calibrate again the length of your IP squared Use the calibrations of the IP square unit from B1 and figure 2.3 to calculate the actual length of the plant tissues from X to Y. So you can use a ruler to draw point from Y and here. So what is the length from this point to this point? You will lose mark if you do not show all the steps in your calculations and do not use the appropriate unit. Now you must remember the unit that you will use for these calculations. Now for your microscope image, we always need to mention that the unit, the appropriate unit that is most suitable for use in measurement in light microscopy, it is always micrometer. So make sure that you include micrometer in your answer. So now, since we already know I calibrate your IP square goals, we know one division here, one small division is equal to 10 micrometer. Now we can know the length from X to Y. So first thing that you need to do is to calculate how many divisions from the X and Y. You can have some time to calculate the number of divisions from this point to this point.
The answer is 24. I piece radicals divisions. From X to Y. Now you already know and you already calculate the eyepiece gradual divisions length. One eyepiece gradual divisions is equal to 10 micrometer. How about 24 divisions here? So the actual length will be equal to 24 times with 10 micrometer you will have 240 include the unit here micrometer so marks will be given if you have correct divisions you have mentions about the divisions and you include the unit for your final actual length measurement so you will get another one mark here Now, the number of divisions, as long as some of you might have due to different perceptions, you might get different results. For example, you might calculate um, 24 IP square degree unit from point X to Y, or some of you might get 27 IP square degree divisions. Now, any of this number will be acceptable as long as your IP square degree divisions is between 23 to 27.